What's going on, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters? It's your boy, The Truth 31. Hit like, subscribe for all that DC goodness on your face, neck, and chest. And it looks like your girl, your soon to be girl, Yada Floor, will be the new Wonder Girl, and she's going to have her own title. So, this title is, is basically the origins of DC's Future State, which is the new title by DC Comics. Uh, Wonder Woman Yada Floor will likely be explored in a new Wonder Girl title. So, uh, Yara Floor, the new Wonder Woman of DC's upcoming Future State publishing line, which shows off the successors of DC's top heroes in various alternate futures. Let's see how that works out. Uh, we'll get her own comic book limited series showing her contemporary career as Wonder Girl. Oh, boy. <laughs> I know some people are not happy about this, but me, I'm more of a, a wait-and-see approach. Uh, Yada Floor, created by Future State, Wonder Woman writer-artist Jarrell Jones, who's uh, who's writing on, I think she's on Catwoman right now, is a Brazilian woman who Deadline describes as the daughter of an Amazon warrior and a Brazilian river god. Ooh, best of both worlds, it seems. Future State is a, is a finite two-month event in January and February. Wonder Girl is almost certainly a limited series set in contemporary DC continuity when the publisher's regular line returns in March with Yada Floor would be younger than her Future State incarnation likely telling her origin uh the the creator which you're seeing right now she's fucking beautiful by the way uh the creator has confirmed the new series herself on twitter uh so it says yes it's true i'm not done with yana floor after she de after she debuts debuts in uh dc's future state one woman in january more to come uh so again it's gonna be interesting i know a lot of people are not happy about this whole uh future state thing that's going on right now with dc with uh dc and if you don't know, DC Future State spotlights the world's greatest superheroes in fresh new roles with all new with all new characters taking up their iconic mantles. So it's going to be basically new characters taking up the mantles of Batman, Superman and stuff like that. Uh, me, I'm not happy about it. I don't like it. I preferred Rebirth. Like Rebirth was the one that really got me back into DC Comics and reading it like hardcore, like buying every issue every wednesday on the comic book store like that's what got me like superman green arrow batman uh, like detective comics all that stuff just league all that just league rebirth stuff all the dc rebirth stuff amazing i loved it and it's and i'm not sure why they're doing this whole future state thing some people are saying like it's gonna flop real hard i don't know it's a wait and see approach i'm gonna see how the talent is i'm gonna see how the writers uh do um, something unique and fresh with these with these uh, new characters taking up the the iconic mantles of Superman and Batman, but we'll see. Uh, the Wonder Girl comic was announced alongside planned CW TV series starring Yada Floor as Wonder Girl from longtime CW DC producer Greg Blanty. Also, if we don't know, they are producing a Wonder Girl series on the CW, which uh, I don't know why, especially since HBO Max is where all the DC content is going to go and with the news of um i did a video on on the whole green line turning greg blind tv on hbo max and how it's going to be more adult it's gonna be more complex and layered and stuff like that i don't know why they're producing this on a cw especially since the cw doesn't have the best track record right now that like i know there are some hardcore cw dc fans out there i used to be one of them but you know eventually i just fell off because i just felt the current product right now that they're producing is kind of lackluster right now i'm just like bro like this is not for me <laughs> like like y'all lost me a long time ago so it's just strange that this is gonna premiere on the cw it's like especially since you have uh dc's titans on hbo max and you have a wonder girl right there like you have a wonder girl so why not just do a spinoff with her on hbo max because people like the character that they, they like the the actress who performs wonder girl so the fact that you, you're gonna pr produce a new show based on a new character that none of us even know about like we have no knowledge of this character whatsoever she's brand new we don't even know if we're gonna like this character or not like like how she's drawn how she's written i mean the drawing so far of her it looks fine it looks okay and, and i know they're they're pushing this whole diversity things like hey we want to get more diversity with these dc comics i get that i understand that completely but you have to walk that fine line with creating new characters and for, you know force feeding it down your throat because the fact that you you're using the Wonder Girl name for this new you know uh, diverse character why not just create a new character just create a new character create a new name that has nothing to do with Wonder Woman uh, lineage 
or history whatsoever. I think that if you if you would have done that, that would have been more um, accessible, and I think that would have gotten you less hate from all the you know you know the f the people who are like re like like why are you why are you forcing diversity down my mouth? I, I hate this. I hate this. You know those people. So I I just wish they would have gone a more you know just more. A brand new route and just create a new character with a new name, uh, uh, someone you've never uh, again a brand new creation. And I think that would have uh, helped people like um, accept this a lot more rather than you know using the Warner Girl name just to you know you know make sure like this character is uh, gets enough notice. It, it sucks because when this was announced, like this wasn't trending at all. Like no no one really cared because no one knows this character. This is a brand new character, so we don't even know. If we're gonna like her, like I said, yeah, like it, it, the, you're doing a brand new title, the, the, uh, she's getting a, a brand new CW show. Which why are you doing this on a CW? Is another story, but it's just like again, when you have a Wonder Girl right there on Titans, which people like, which people who are familiar with, just go down that route with her. Like I'd rather watch her have her own HBO Max show than this new character with, than you know, a new character that I don't even know if I'm going to like yet. Like, you know what I mean? So it's all very interesting. It's 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 one big test, uh, and I hope it passes, and I really hope it doesn't fail. So there you go. Those are my thoughts, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters. Subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, Instagram. Let's continue having a DC conversation. And as always, support DC, love DC. Are you excited about this brand new character, Yana Floor? Uh, do you care, or, or are you just like, eh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how this all turns out how this all turns out let me know down in the comments below and yeah man this is all very interesting uh, just like again i hope this works out because i want dc to succeed and i want them to tell really great stories so uh, hopefully this whole dc future state is not just you know one big flop waiting to happen because that would be a fucking shame especially after rebirth so anyway those are my thoughts truth out